One of the reasons that we have Strength for Life is to help prepare Christians for potential martyrdom. Biblical pastors exist, at least in part, to cultivate strong Christians with deep roots in their Christian faith to the point that they understand why the message of this book is worth dying for. I know that it's difficult to fathom that in America, Christians could be martyred for their faith because after all, America has been a wonderland of religious liberty over the last almost 250 years. But even the casual observer should be able to see that America is rapidly becoming more anti-God and anti-Bible than ever. I say again, we have been uniquely blessed in our country. But remember that in many places around the world and throughout human history, Christians have been arrested and imprisoned and martyred simply because of their public allegiance to Christ. It's the Fox's Book of Martyrs that catalogs many of our Christian heroes. With the way America and the world are heading, I suggest we are just a couple generations away from extreme levels of hostility being exhibited towards American Christians. Even now, we see the groundwork being laid. It started gradually, but now the devil's agenda is increasing rapidly. In the 60s and 70s, it was prayer and the Ten Commandments being extracted from the public schools. And then it was abortion. And more recently, in 2015, same-sex marriage being legalized in all 50 states. Now it's all this transgender hype. I'm saying blatant paganism is all around us in our sin-sick country. And among the most alarming aspects of all of it is this newfound power through technology to control information and control speech. Being deplatformed or canceled so that people can't hear your message is happening more and more. The Christian's message of good news requires a clear denunciation of sin of all types and increasingly that will not be tolerated in America. Again, one of the jobs of a biblical pastor is to prepare Christians for martyrdom. Strength for Life is attempting to do that in various venues by explaining the Bible, explaining what it means, and constantly restating its importance, why it matters. When we understand what it means and why it matters, it will prepare us for the happiness Jesus describes in Matthew 5. It will prepare us for the rejoicing as well as the reward in heaven for those that face persecution. As much as I am genuinely thankful for the biblical foundation of our great country, I am even more thankful that my primary citizenship is in heaven. If you don't know Jesus as your savior, admit that you're a sinner and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Come to Christ today. But if you do know Jesus as your savior, a superficial understanding of the Bible should not be enough for you. So dig deeply into the word of God, especially the book of First Peter, as we prepare ourselves and future generations for the hostility that always eventually comes to outspoken Christians in a pagan world. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you, but rejoice in so much as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye for the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you.